In this question, we're asked, what balances with one square, shown here on the bottom? And we're given that one circle and one square balances with two triangles, and one circle and one triangle balances with two squares. So hopefully you've already attempted this question. If you haven't, I hope you'll pause the video and give it a try. Because we know one circle and one square balances with two triangles, let's begin by placing these on this first scale. Again, we'll place one circle and one square on the left and two triangles on the right. Now, because we also know that one circle and one triangle balances with two squares, notice how if we place one circle and one triangle on the left and these two squares on the right, the scale would also balance. But instead of doing this, let's place these two squares on the left and the circle and triangle on the right. So we'll place two squares on the left and a circle and triangle on the right. Notice how when we do this, we have one circle on each side of the scale. And because the two circles have the same weight, if we remove these, we now know that three squares would balance with three triangles. Well, if three squares balance with three triangles, then one square would have to have the same weight as one triangle, or one square would balance with one triangle. Which is our answer. But let's also show how to solve this using algebra. Using an algebraic approach, let's let each circle be equal to x, each square be equal to y, and each triangle be equal to z. And now we can form two equations using these first two scales. If a circle and a square bounces with two triangles, that means that x plus y must equal 2z. And if one circle and one triangle bounces with two squares, that would mean that x plus z must equal 2y. So notice how we have a system of equations here. We have two equations with three unknowns, and our goal here is to determine what would balance with one square or what y is equal to. So to solve the system of equations for y, let's solve these two equations for x, and then we'll perform substitution. So solving this first equation for x, we would subtract y on both sides, which would give us x equals 2z minus y. If we solve the second equation for x, we would subtract z on both sides, so we'd have x equals 2y minus z. And now because we have x equals 2z minus y, and x equals 2y minus z, we can form one equation with y and z. We can substitute 2z minus y for x here, since 2z minus y is equal to x. So after performing this substitution, we'd have the equation 2z minus y equals 2y minus z. And now let's get the z terms on one side of the equation and the y terms on the other. So let's go ahead and add y to both sides of the equation. And let's also add z to both sides of the equation. Now when we simplify, this would be zero and so would this. So we're left with 2z plus z, which is 3z, must equal 2y plus y, which would be 3y. So if we divide both sides by 3, notice how we have z equals y, or if we want y equals z, and because y equals z, and y is a square and z is a triangle, once again, we know that one triangle balances with one square. I hope you found these explanations helpful.